Hey there, Jed Coverness here from jedcoverness.com. Coming to you from Roseau, Minnesota. This is Talk Therapy, a tool that I use to get past my analytical mind, to think out loud and put it all out there. Here we go. Uh, today's weather, you're not gonna believe this. If you notice, I'm in a, I am in a t-shirt and it is crazy town. I'm in a t-shirt and literally I'm in town, but um, it's 41 degrees. 41 degrees and I'm in a t-shirt, not wearing a hat, nothing, right? Like, that's crazy. Like, think about that. Think about what 41 degrees is. And in parts of, some parts of the nation, they would be like, man, what the hell, right? Like, why are you, it's cold. No, man, like it is warm. When you've been at minus 30 for how many months? 40 degrees? Yeah, I'll take it. That's t-shirt. That's crazy, and that's your weather, right? That's your weather. But it's crazy to me uh, that the body adapts so quickly. And give me, you know, give all of us, give the human body a few months at this, and then it goes warmer, and it would drop down to 40. This would be freezing, right? This is not freezing, but you'd, you'd feel cold. And that's crazy to me. Like the body just adapts. It just adapts. And that's really fun. Here you are. <laughs> You're welcome. That's crazy also that I'm yawning. What is this? Whatever. But yeah, I never know what I'm gonna say. I just hit record and put it all out there. Why not? Put it all out there. So keep experimenting is what I sent to my newsletter today and I spelled it wrong. <laughs> I sent it, I spelled it experimenting. Or wait, experimenting. Yeah, I said, I spelled it right. Experimenting. Yeah, that's funny. Cause I thought I spelled it wrong. Experimenting. I don't know. I spelled it right though. Cause I looked it up. I'm like, oh shit, I bet you I spelled experimenting wrong. Nope, I spelled it right. Yes. Um, my spelling's not great. I, I don't spell well at all, but it's gonna be okay. But, you know, whatever. Whatever that looks like, that's what's happening. But yeah, it's crazy to think that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. Like, today is a great day, and why not think like that? No matter what. crazy cool to think like that. So, yeah. What do you do but be happy, be grateful, be here? Yeah, that thought right there. That pause was like, hmm, I don't know what to say, I don't know what to do. I'm just talking, literally just putting it out there. And I'm now saying that again. <laughs> repeating myself oh no but oh well I made another attempt at the jump rope handle and I'm really excited it may or may not work but each time ooh, yeah there's another yawn for you each time I run the handles each time I run the lathe to operate the handles uh, to get the handles running it's really cool it's really cool to uh, to learn and to see what happens like just I don't think I have the proper tooling but it's wood right now so I can't really break a ton I can't break anything but the wood wood is pretty forgiving um, I harden the wood a little bit with a uh, vacuum pump it's a wood hardener but even then it's still not really hard not as hard as aluminum or anything like that look at that there were three what is this why why at this time am I yawning so dang much what is that hmm. I don't know what that is but kind of cool Cool to think like that. I uh, really, really.
really, really want to get a podcast in with Cody. I know that. I know, I know, I know. I want to because our topic, like I, we don't usually plan what we're saying. It's this kind of uh, setup where we just hit record and hang out. But I really want to pick his, his brain uh, and get his opinion and his outlook and his mindset on death. Uh, I don't think we talk enough about death in our days. I feel like death is some is like a taboo topic because if you talk about death, then you talk about like oh no, you're you're, you're are you feeling okay and mental health and all that shit. And like you can talk about death in a healthy way, and uh, and I want to have that conversation with him because he's I know he already has a different outlook, and uh, and that's why like I feel like him and I are on the same page when it comes to that. I think we can we can help other people kind of talk about it or bring it up or could use that podcast as a talking point. Maybe I'm giving us way too much credit that we talk about death, but death isn't something you have to not talk about. You, you know, because if you talk about death, you'd be like, are you okay? Because you might be suicidal. No, like actually think about death and not be afraid of it because it's a beautiful thing. If you treat it that way, not just a complete out of your mind death, and it could be that too, it could be out of your mind. I don't know. I mean, that's that's the beautiful part. So I'm feeling that one hard. Like I really want to get some time to go over there and hang out, or he comes to our house, or whatever it is. But that's the next topic, and it may not be. You know, like by the time I actually get it, we get some time to head over there and get that, get it recorded. Uh, it, we could be thinking and doing something different, but I feel like that's a big deal. Just going to talk about death in a healthy way. I don't think we do that at all. Nobody teaches us about it. Uh, the churches attempt to do that. But they also talk in a biblical way and it's a pretty one-sided way but um, there isn't much and, and that's just my opinion right like somebody could really get mad and I'm okay with it like it's just maybe it's my lack of knowledge but I know for growing up Catholic it was definitely like fear God and fear death and, you know no right like you don't have to fear anything because of God and that's also a message that I that God put in front of me all my life but that's so yeah I mean I really want to do that it's in my it's in my it's in my mind space and heart space if you will I'm just excited for some things that are going on in today's world and then not excited for things going on in today's world so just know that on both ends I guess but yeah here we go right like I don't know that's all I got for you today maybe my maybe maybe my lack of uh, my lack of lack if you will is catching up with me by all standards because everything that's happening right now has already happened. And just know that. Be patient with yourself. All times have already happened. So, hell yeah. <laughs> Cobra Nation, thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, I love you guys. Pay this thing forward, please. Uh, share with somebody who needs to hear it. I really appreciate it. And as always, if you're willing to change from the neck up, then you will change from the neck down. I believe in you. Now it's your turn to start believing in yourself. Stay safe out there. Be blessed. Bye for now.